Okay, so I've got a yoga class on the beach today. I will be squinting a bit because the sun is in my eyes, but I thought it's better to be in my eyes than your eyes. And I haven't put a mat down, so sorry if I have to brush my hands a few times. Okay, we're going to be going for quite an energetic flow today. So get ready, start that breath, really focus. Nice big inhales and exhales, and at any time come back to your child's pose and just breathe. That is the aim of the game, just to keep this breath throughout the whole class. Okay, settle in when you're ready. Whatever seated position you want to take, close down your eyes, hands onto your thighs, palms facing up, and just breathe here. Really nice deep breaths in and out. Really cultivating this into your practice, starting to get familiar with how it feels in your body. Take a few big exhales with a big sigh if you feel like you need to just get rid of any excess tension, anything that's building up. Okay, three more breaths here, big inhale and exhale. Final inhale, exhale. Okay, wherever you are, blink the eyes, open, big stretch, hands up, gaze up, exhale, bring the hands all the way down. Okay, getting into it really quickly today, coming into our all four, coming down to our forearms now, waking up our shoulders, taking the chin down to the ground, and back up, down to the ground, and up. Keep feeling that energy driving through the forearms. Palms flat to the ground. Coming back to that neutral position with the elbows and shoulders in line every time you come back up. Three more. Two. And one. Really nice. Extending the legs out, coming into your forearm plank. So onto the edge of the left foot, right arm up to the sky. Gazing up, keeping the hips really high, drawing the shoulder blades together, opening up through that chest. And then taking that right leg up to the sky, drawing the right knee into your chest and coming all the way around into your low lunge. Absolutely feel free to have your knee down. Planting the left hand down, big inhale, easy twist, right arm high. Exhale, right hand back down, step this right leg back into your all fours, back into the forearms, and then coming onto your forearm plank with your left arm lifted. Again, driving that energy through the forearms, drawing the shoulder blades together. Keeping the hips really nice and high. And then lifting up the left leg, bringing it all the way forward to the front of the mat into your low lunge. And then into your easy twist, right arm down, left arm high. Exhale, both hands back down, stepping back through your high plank and then into your downward dog. Externally rotating those shoulders and the upper arms. At the same time, internally rotating those forearms by grounding through the index finger and the thumb, sending the tailbone high. Coming down to our forearms, and then taking some pulses here, like we did at the beginning, taking the chin down and up. Keep thinking about the elbows drawing towards one another rather than apart. And driving that energy through the forearms, 
Really nice. Three, two, and one. Really good. All the way back up, back into your downward dog. Inhale, right leg high, three leg dog. Exhale, tiger curl, knee to nose. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee, right arm. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, right knee to the left arm. Drop it down to the ground and pick it back up into your chest. Down to the ground and up. Back to center and then step all the way through. Inhale into your high lunge. Grounding through the big toe, keeping that knee bent. And then next inhale, take the hands down to the ground and take the left leg high into your standing splits. Drawing that chest down, gazing towards the big toe, helping you not round through that spine. Think about square hips. Maybe you take both hands off, have a bit of a wobble around. Really work that left glute to send that foot higher. And then inhale, see if you can take that left leg all the way through into your stalk pose, really nice. From your stalk pose, we're going to take our left leg all the way out long. Hands up high. Thinking about drawing the hip joint back in. Holding here, make sure you're using that breath to activate the core. Three, two, and one, really nice sweeping this left leg all the way back into your warrior three maybe you take airplane arms make sure that that left foot is flexed breathing here next exhale bending through this right knee all the way down into your low lunge stepping this right foot back Yasa. all the way up upward dog and meeting back in your downward facing dog other side inhale left leg high three leg dog exhale tiger curl knee to nose inhale all the way high exhale left knee left arm inhale high exhale left knee right arm down to the ground and lift and down and lift coming back through center and then stepping that foot through into your low lunge straight up into your high lunge breathing here coming into our standing splits coming all the way forward sending that right leg high Again, gazing towards the big toe, working those glutes to send that leg higher. See if you can take both hands off and have a wobble around here. Find that balance through your breath and then see if you can come all the way up into your stalk pose, not touching the ground. And then extending that right leg all the way out, hands go high, pulling this hip joint back into the socket. Breathing here. Grounding through the left big toe. And then exhale, coming through into your warrior three. Maybe the hands go back or at heart center. Flexing through the right foot. Finding that stability and balance through your breath. And then slowly bending through the left knee, coming all the way down into your low lunge, straight back to your vinyasa. All the way back, downward facing dog. And again, other side, right leg high, three leg dog. Exhale, all of the tiger curls to the nose and up to the right arm and up 
to the left arm. Drop it down and pull it back up and down and up back through center really round through that spine see if you can step through into your low lunge all the way up high lunge exhale standing splits left leg high this time really push yourself if you didn't take the hands off last time try it now and then really slowly all the way through into your stalk pose. Extending that leg out, arms high. Keeping that leg where it is and then coming into a twist, really having to focus on your breath. Taking the left arm behind, right arm forward. Coming all the way back up to center and then through into your warrior three. Bending that right knee all the way down, low lunge. Maybe you can take this plank with your right leg high, your vinyasa. Remember, you can always skip your vinyasas all the way back. Okay, other side, left leg high, three leg dog. All of the tiger curls need to nose. And up. Left leg to the left arm. And up. Right arm. And down. And up. And down. And up. Back through to the nose. Round through that spine. See if you can step through into your low lunge. Straight into your high lunge. Next exhale all the way down into your standing splits. Breathing here. And then coming all the way up into your stalk pose. Extending that right leg, hands high. Coming into that twist, taking the left arm forward, right arm back. Breathing here. Really squeezing that hip joint in. Don't be tempted to lift up that right hip. All the way back to center. And then in to your warrior three. Bending that left leg, stepping all the way back, low lunge. Picking up this left leg. It keeps through your vinyasa. And then all the way back. Downward facing dog, really nice. Coming into our dolphin. Remember, you can always rest into your child's pose. Coming down to the forearms, walking the feet in, sending the tailbone high, knees bent, heels off is perfectly acceptable. Work towards your body. Driving that energy through the forearms, trying to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, keeping the forearms parallel. Breathing here. Keep sending that energy up high and keep breathing. This is where you really need to focus on that breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really nice. All the way down. Coming in to your child's pose. I'm just going to have my hands resting with my forehead so I don't get a sandy face. Breathing here. Gonna take that flow on both sides one more time. So really stick with it. Find your breath here. Okay, when you're ready, into your downward facing dog. You know where we're going, the rear leg dog. Right leg high. We'll just do one tiger curl this time, taking that knee to the nose and then stepping through into your high lunge. Exhale into your standing splits. Really try to take both hands off this time and wobble. And then inhale all the way up into your stalk pose. Taking that leg out long, arms lifted. 
Coming into that twist, right arm forward, left arm back. And then all the way back into your warrior three. See if you can do it from that twist. Nearly our last vinyasa. Whether you want that leg covering or not, completely up to you. And then all the way back, downward facing dog. Final side, stick with it, left leg high. Three leg dog, knee to nose. Stepping through into your high lunge. And then exhale all the way down. Right leg high, use that glute to send that foot higher. Take both hands off of the ground. And then in all the way through into your stalk pose. Extend that leg, extend the arms into your twist. And then all the way back into your warrior three. Bending that left knee, coming down. Final vinyasa, I promise. Coming up into your upward facing dog or your cobra, make this feel really expansive. And then all the way back into your downward facing dog, really nice. Breathe here. Really connect back to that breath. And then taking the left arm all the way over to the right, maybe just the right side, or maybe you find that connection with hand to ankle. And really think about spinning the left rib cage under, underneath you, spinning around to the right. Placing that hand back down. And then the other side, right arm all the way round to the left using that ankle as leverage or just walking the fingers further over to the left side and then all the way back this time taking the left leg crossing it in front of the right bending the knees slightly pushing back through this crossed downward dog feeling a nice stretch through the outer hips onto the other side Right leg crossed in front, bend through those knees. Really send the tailbone high. Back into your downward dog. Stepping this right leg all the way forward into your easy twist. Maybe that knee is down. And then in your lizard lunge, walking that foot to the outside of the mat. Knee off, knee down. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Trying to keep that right knee in towards your body. Coming back up onto your hands if you're not already to the outside edge of that right foot, out to the side. Bring this right arm all the way up and back. See if you can pick up the left leg. Draw it in towards your body. If not, just work towards that motion in an active hamstring stretch. And then all the way back, just switching over to the other side, low lunge, left leg forward. Easy twist, right, left arm high. Coming into your lizard lunge, walking that left leg to the outside, and then maybe coming down to the forearms. Coming back to the hands, knee down, outside edge of that left foot, knee dropping out to the side, left arm all the way up and back, and taking hold of that right foot, and drawing it in towards your body. Breathing here. All the way back. And then bringing this right leg 
to meet the left, coming down into your malasana, hands at heart center, grounding through the outside edges of the feet as much as the big toes, sinking the tailbone down. Remember, you know your body, whether you need something underneath your heels or a block underneath your bum. Place the hands down, wiggle the feet all the way in, coming into a forward fold. Bending through the knees if needed. Trying to get the chest and the belly down onto the thighs. If there's not that connection, bend the knees more. Bending the knees a lot. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, hands up, gaze up. Exhale, coming all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Stepping this left leg straight back and sinking down into your pigeon. Not one of my favorite poses. So if you want to take reclined pigeon or seated pigeon, absolutely go for it. Thinking about that left extended leg, making sure the knee is down and the front of the foot is down so you're not externally rotating that leg. Placing the hands down, just switching over to the other side. Leg forward and extending that right leg back. Starting to move onto the bum so you can extend this left leg out long into your wide leg fold, keeping the feet flexed, toes extended to the sky. Staying here, or walking the hands all the way down. Remembering this class is all about breath, so come into that breath to help you relax here and maybe push a little bit past where you think your limits are. Keep inhaling, extending, exhaling, folding from the hips. Final breath, big inhale. Exhale, releasing any tension. And then coming all the way. Up. Hands behind the thighs, just really gently hug them back into your body. Coming into your easy seat, whatever that looks like for you. Coming into a twist, taking the left arm to the outside of that leg and then twisting all the way round to the right. Thinking about that left rib cage spinning round. Crown of the head high, sitting up nice and tall. And then all the way onto the other side. Coming back through center, coming into your Shavasana. I am not gonna lie on the ground. <laughs> I'm sandy enough. So coming down, or sitting up, finding that stillness, just like we cultivated at the start of our practice, and just breathe. Belly rising with every inhale, 
Back down with every exhale. This time is just for you. You've got nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. If you can stay here longer, please do. I'm going to leave you wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining my practice and I really hope that you liked the change of location. It is just beautiful to be able to practice outside so I hope that you can find your own piece of nature. Thank you so much. <laughs>